bridges over streams, rivers, or bigger oceans are one of mankind's most valuable inventions for crossing over waters and building civilizations. A bridge today not only plays a traffic function, but is also an aesthetic landmark thanks to technological advances and creative designing. The latest technological breakthrough in bridge construction is the so-called super bridge capable of lasting two centuries. The Pont de Normandie that runs over the Seine in Normandy in northern France, the Bosphorus Bridge that connects Europe and Asia, and Incheon Bridge nearby Seoul come under the same category. They are byproducts of cable-stayed bridge technology. A cable-stayed bridge typically has a single pair of towers or more from which cables run down to support the top and base of the bridge deck. Cable stay technology has become a popular choice for bridges around the world because of their spacious and elegant sculpture-like architecture, coverage of long spans, and relatively low cost. Concrete was mixed with lighter fiber reinforcements that reduced the width by 20 centimeters. Because the deck has become lighter with lesser weight and width, fewer cables are needed to sustain it, helping to reduce the overall building cost. The columns and cable stayed bridges had to be built within a certain distance because of less strength and the weight of the concrete. The distance between column bases can be nearly double to 1,000 meters from the current world's longest cable stayed example of 530 meters. Bridge 200 technology can save costs in bridge construction by 20%. That could bring down the cost of state pork barrel bridge projects by $200 million over the next 10 years. It could also generate exports of more than $4 billion in overseas orders. Over the next decade, the world bridge market is estimated to reach 150 billion US dollars and the cable stayed form is likely to make up 90% of new bridges. And they could all be using Korea's signature technology.